Hello, hello, hello everybody. Today we are playing Garrod Krovi, but we're going to be using only World War II weapons. As you can see, we didn't start with the M1911, we started with the Mauser M712. We're using a mod that basically takes all of the weapons from Call of Duty World War II, and we're going to be using those. It's going to be a gun game, it'll be fun, we'll get to see everything, but I thought, hey, Garrod Krovi, Battle of Stalingrad, World War II, why not, man? Why not? I remember whenever this map came out, I was, a, I think I was a sophomore or junior in high school. I'm sorry, I was thinking about whether I was going to melee. I was remember what we were doing. I was a sophomore or junior in high school literally learning about um, World War II. And we were going over the Battle of Stalingrad whenever this map came out. And it was, it was genuinely one of the coolest things to me. Uh, right quick at the beginning, I'm supposed to say all of the boring YouTube stuff like, guys, if you can, please like, comment, subscribe. Comments really make my day. All the comment streaks, I genuinely love it. Thank you guys for all the support on my channel lately. Uh, just, you know, supporting me through everything. As you guys have known, we've had a little bit of slow uploads lately, but I'm glad to say that's coming to an end. We are, we're full force YouTube grind now, baby. I, I have the wedding. I'm a married man. I'm feeling good and I'm ready to just kick back and play some zombies. I love gun game, man. This is where, this is what really I loved watching as a kid. Watching a Next Gen Tactics play, oh, I gotta watch out, I don't want to take a early down and just lose. Watching Next Gen Tactics play the World at War gun game mods. And let me tell you guys, I think there is so much uh, in World at War that people have probably forgotten about. I really need to get someone who knows about all the World at War mods. Uh, if you guys know any cool ones, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Some stuff I can check out on World at War. Uh, Black Ops 3 has a ton of stuff, but man, the repository on that game is just massive. If you guys don't know, it, it's funny. I'm pretty sure that me playing Black Ops 3 while, you know, Modern Warfare 2 is out is the same as the people who are playing World at War while Black Ops 3 was out. Uh, and to me, man, Black Ops 3 is still a new game. That's what happens as you get older, man. You start just viewing stuff as, as new. Uh, it's just, it's crazy, man. I still view Overwatch, you know, Doomfist as a new hero and everything. Uh, just old mine. Anyways, let's go and get started. I want to try to get everything open on the map. Uh, we do need to be buying perks. If it'll let me. There we go. Let's see, let's see. Man, I have so many wedding stories to tell you guys. <laughs> it has truly been insane. Um... We, we had the wedding at my family's property. Whenever we get down there Saturday, immediately, it's just like cleaning. Uh, it's in the middle of kind of the woods. It's on a lake. And we had like 10 trees. And with it being the middle of the fall, there were probably about just five to six inches straight of leaves on the ground that my family spent hours cleaning. Um, I, we got to the hotel that night because me and my, uh, fiance, I, I, I slept with my best man and she slept with her, uh, bridesmaid in separate hotel rooms because we weren't supposed to see each other the day of the wedding and we just smelled like pure fire smoke. It was, it was terrible, but the wedding was scuffed as all could be. The dogs, uh, our dogs were in the wedding. It was adorable. Um, but they were they were very non-cooperative. One of the flower girls got lost going down the aisle. Uh, the officiate, God bless him, <laughs> forgot his speech in the middle of the ceremony. It was it was so much fun. I'll, I'll go more in depth on another time. But man, what a what a crazy crazy time. Uh, I guess why is it purple? I guess just the mod. Oh, please do not hurt me. I guess there's no point to just saying. I probably should just be opening the map, huh? Uh, we'll get to power. I always forget the layout of Garrod Krovi. As much as I do love the scenery of this map, I never loved how much, uh, how it played. It's not a very confusing map. It always takes me a minute or two to remember, but it's just like there's a middle area and there's two side areas, and then each side area has another area. Easy as that. Our goal right now, of course, is just to make it to power. I don't think we can build the Dragon Shield. Maybe we can. I feel like whenever we did the Shadows of Evil, we might have been able to. Let's see, let's see. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm hoping to get back on a daily uploads. I might be doing every other day, um, just because there are a few other responsibilities, but I think daily to every other day. Now, I don't plan to have any more missed uploads, um... It'll be fun, man. It'll be fun. I just want to make sure I've got some good ideas. There's so much I can do. I go back and forth between all these ideas. And at the end of the day, I think people, you know, if you're watching zombies content, you just kind of want to watch zombies content. And a lot of people who watch me just watch me because, hey, we just like hanging out. Uh, let's see. These red zombies, man, they're crazy. Why do they have, did they have purple eyes from the beginning? I like talking about this. Uh... Of course, I'm huge into zombies lore. I did fall out a little bit with uh, Cold War, some of the implications of the end of Black Ops 4, but I remember 
uh, whenever this map came out, of course, this is, we only first heard Dr. Monty in this map, right? So you have to go back in time a bit and change your understanding. But the only time before this that we had seen red-eyed zombies was in Mob of the Dead. And the overarching theory there, and I'm not sure if it's still the theory or how it works, but was that Mob of the Dead literally took place in hell. Um, and that Satan was controlling everything, which is why the uh, zombie eyes were red. I don't know how accurate that was, but whenever things now whenever girl to Cobra came out the, the red eyes everyone was just so confused so bewildered it's like wait why is uh, who's in control of zombies at this time is it samantha Zomb i don't know <laughs> it's hard to go back but it was crazy seeing the red eyes um because zombies eyes have always been a big thing you know like a nuketown black ops 2 whenever the moon uh, or rather whenever toffin takes control and the earth is destroyed the zombie eyes change. I think it's around 24 or 27, somewhere in that range. And that was awesome. And that's how we always kept track of who was in control. And I, to this day, does red eyes mean that Monty's in control? But that doesn't make a ton of sense. Monty's the one who's supposed to be doing all the things helping us. Uh, the gobble gum machine, the chalks on the wall. Well, quote unquote helping us. He's not particularly that good of a guy, is he? Was it the shadow man? No, because the shadow man controls the apothecans. Who's in control of the zombies right now? Samantha's in the house, right? Because Origins. Because this is... Whoa! Please, hey, 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 hey. This gun's not the best. Also, as you might have noticed, we're not doing Pack-A-Punch weapons this time around. I wanted a bit more of a challenge. Um, so I thought, hey, we just won't worry too much about all the Pack-A-Punch variants and everything like that. Plus, the Shadows video was a bit long. Let's see. So the point of Black Ops 3 was breaking the cycle, right? That's why we had to go to Mob of the Dead after Zetsubo no Shima. Zetsubo no Shima, yada, yada. Um, but who was in control of the zombies? What a curious question. What what happens when no one's in control of the zombies? Is it just the Shadow Man? Is it just, you know, the, the Apothecans or the big bad guys? I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense. What color are the zombie eyes in Shadows? They're yellow, right? Which would be Sam. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting too into lore. I, I don't have the answers off the top of my head. Let's see. I really want perks. Um, let's go get Jug. We turned on power. We have a shotgun. Double tap is that way. Yeah, I care a bit more about Jug than double tap. We do have Widow's Wine. We got a free perk. I do have custom drops enabled for this mod just because it spices up a bit. It makes it a bit more fun. We're definitely going to be taking some downs. A little bit of lag there. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely going to be taking downs. I see little to no way around that. Oh, which way am I going? Which way did I come from? Where did we come from? Where did we go? That's uh, the Mob of the Dead song right there. I'm trying to think. Let's see. Let's see. I need to figure out what uh, other weapon mod map packs, weapon mod map packs, weapon packs would be fun. We came from the bottom, right? Because the bottom is what connects to the middle. No, the six meter speed cola. Ah, <laughs> this is embarrassing at this point. Dragon's up there. Oh no, we did come from the bottom, but it was this way. Right, right, right. We're good. We're making it through. So, oh, here's a question. How many of you guys um, played World War II? Whenever I think of World War II as a COD game, it is probably the most forgettable COD game to me. It's generally the one I always forget about. I did not play it a ton. It came, was it after Infinite Warfare, right? And I really liked Infinite Warfare, but I stopped playing Infinite Warfare about halfway into the cycle. I, I wasn't huge onto it. Or did it come after Black Ops 4? I don't remember. Regardless, I didn't play it a ton. Um, I thought it was cool. I was happy to see COD going back to boots on the ground. But now, there's this huge discussion. And of course, it's all fueled by Vanguard, right? Ooh, we got the... That's a that's a name and a half, huh? Because um, Vanguard caused mobility, right? So we have this thing in COD where it went... We were always on boots on the ground. And then we started to have these more advanced movement systems coming in. Uh, I believe the first game with the truly advanced movement system was Advanced Warfare. And then Black Ops 3 had it. Yada yada. Uh, so, so, but then the fans were calling for, let's go back to boots on the ground. And I think we still kept a semi-advanced movement system. And I think that's probably best resembled by Vanguard, which if I'm not incorrect, is boots on the ground, right? I didn't play Vanguard. Um, but it had a very complex, like, you know, you could, you had crazy movement and people said, okay, this is boots on the ground, but it's still complex movement. That adds in a skill gap. We like being able to demonstrate that we are good at the game. And then, as we all know, Modern Warfare 2, which, of course, Infinity Ward always has kind of been pro-camper, less rusher. Treyarch's kind of the more run-run-run games, uh, yada yada, except I'm saying yada yada. That's not the thing I normally say, um, but I just don't care to go super into detail here. But, so now people are up and just losing their minds about it because it is, you know, is it narrowing the gap between what is skillful and what is not? 
Uh, but World War Two, what did what did that game, what did that game have in it? I feel like it had slides and stuff, right? I the, honestly the only thing I remember about World War Two is I had incendiary shotguns that really annoyed me, and my friend really liked to use them. Um, but yeah, so just that like m mobility, I guess I was thinking about because I was just on my boots on the ground, and it was a big deal that game was back boots on the ground because that's also never Battlefield One came out, right? Maybe or was it Battlefield Five? No, Battlefield 5 was the one that people were very, very unhappy about because it wasn't entirely historically correct. Because people just like to get upset about video games. I, I don't know. I, if you want to be historically correct, go read a history book, man. <laughs> Let's see. 2000 for a double tap, which of course it always is. It's double two, yeah. We got it. We got it. Ah, man. I want to play, uh, I want to play so many different maps right now, man. I'm just in such a COD Zombies mood. Do we want the death machine? Listen to that sound. That's not the normal perk sound. Or not perk, but drop sound. This shotgun is not very good. I have got to get these points ASAP. I don't think we have a perk limit, uh, so we should just be able to buy perks how we want to. Oh, dude. Speed Cola would be nice. It's these, these double-barreled shotguns that just do not have enough damage to really justify it. Okay, I guess we're pulling out the death machine. I didn't mean to. Wait, are we able to... Yes! Okay, amazing. Ooh, we got the blunderbuss. So, okay, Blunderbiss is a reload, not a chamber, right? But it should be a slow reload, but a quicker chamber? Yes, I think so. I think part of that animation might have been sped up, but not the other part. Because Double Tap will like let you chamber bullets into snipers faster, but it won't let you reload faster. I don't know how much of the Blunderbuss's animation is considered reload versus chamber. It might all be considered reload, and I'm just crazy. What we'll do is we'll try to get enough for Speed Cola now. What else do we want to do? Do we want to train, survive? We need to get the dragon things, right? I need to call down the gr modules. I always forget that's a, that's a thing on this map. Let's see. Are we able to hold F for Groff module? Okay. Now, I will say we probably should be somewhere safe with the blunderbuss because we do only have one bullet at a time. Um, so we need to be very, very careful so we don't take it down. We're good. We're good. Why is Widow's Why not working? Widow's Why is not working because we don't have grenades. That would explain it. I'm that I'm not gonna be able to get to that Groff module. I I I'm gonna die. Um, yeah, I'm aware the Groff module is under attack. Unfortunately, there's little to nothing I can do about it at this very second. Oh, Sophia, let's see. Can I get there in time? I don't have grenades. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many for just having one bullet every ten seconds. If I go for headshots, maybe maybe we can get something done here. At least the zombies are attacking the Groff module. Again, I'm not going to be able to save it. No, 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 no. We're just going to have to call another Groff module here in a bit. It was not the best idea. Dude, it only went through two? Ooh. Yeah, Groff module is about to get destroyed. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that one. We'll just have to get another key for it. Careful, careful. We're good, we're good. I'm a decent enough zombies player for this. Man. I'm in such a good mood. I've been so stressed recording lately, not because I don't like recording, but just because I've had so much wedding stuff on my mind. I've not been able to be as into it as I want to be. And it's just, oh, it feels good. I feel like I could record 10 videos today, man. I just got to figure out what to do. I, uh, I want to do so much. I'm thinking, I'm thinking a two box on like original farm is, I don't know if that sounds boring. Maybe pistols only on original farm. I really want to go back to original farm. The only stuff I've done on farm has been uh, the chrism challenge. I never really got the chance to do a lot of stuff on farm. And I always think of, Again, the, the Black Ops 2, Mr. Dalek, JD, two box challenge on farm, pistols only on farm, yeah. I keep wanting to say yada yada, what, what is up with my brand? Now I'm saying ya yeah, like I'm some 13 year old taking a Xanax, <laughs> I don't know. Nothing against you if you're 13 taking Xanax, but um, they, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, let's see, we got the bazooka, do I have self damage? I think I do, I'm going to do it like right there, yes, most certainly self damage. Pack a punch, it probably wouldn't be, but, alright. Oh, the Groff module's still going? Why did this not just get destroyed? <laughs> what? Okay, let me run back to it. Maybe there's still some hope for it. Oh, uh, we are not able to move particularly quickly with this. Or will it only explode if I'm, like, here? What's happening? <laughs> Does the Groff module just never get destroyed? Is it only, like, a lie? Can- what? This is so odd to me. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yeah, module has been destroyed. Unfortunate. All right, we got a supply depot one. Supply depot is where um, Speed Cola is, right? So that's where I want to head to anyways. Let's see. We have signs everywhere. Dragon Command is this way, but I want to go over here. Armory. Okay, is Armory where it is? 
Supply Depot. No, Supply Depot is definitely the one by Speed Cola. Yeah, there's Speed Cola. Let's get this door open up. We can. We have an actual gun now. Looks like a SMG, I believe. It's the uh, the Type 100 style of gun. Hold F for Groff module. We have Speed Cola. Or not Speed Cola. We have Double Tap. So our weapons shouldn't be too weak. That's another thing. Because we don't have Pack a Punch weapons. Oh, we got the... Not right now, my man. Okay, good. We can just destroy Manglers. In <laughs> ridiculously easy. Where's the Groff module? Oh my gosh, it's all the way over there? Oh, come on. Let's go, let's go. Hut one, hut two. I just want to play some Origins, I think. Some just like good old staff action. Upgrade all the staffs in a playthrough. I don't know, do I want to upgrade all of them? Because if you upgrade all of them, you never really just get to use one. You know what I mean? Like, because upgrading takes so much time. Maybe it'd be fun to like do a random number generator challenge. And I have a number generator pick what perks I buy uh, and what things I can use. Where am I going? <laughs> uh, what staff I can use, whether I can upgrade it. No, I want to upgrade it. Upgrading's part of the fun. But just what staff is most fun to see? Is it the electric staff? It probably is, right? Because wind and ice are just like kind of boring. I don't think that's a... I, I love... The, the ice staff was my staff for years. That thing was my baby. But now I think the electric staff is fun. I still don't love the fire staff. Fire staff is probably my least favorite. The fire staff was the one that always gave the G-spawn errors. If you guys ever watched um, any speed runs or high record, record attempts on Black Ops 2, you know that the fire staff was a big no-go. Let's see, we'll get our dragon circuit. And do we have any more modules? No, or code cylinders. Not yet. Do we have the entire map opened up yet? I don't think so. We can go by Speed Cola, which I'm not against in the slightest. 57 guns left. Oh, and we have none that can be pack-a-punched. Oh, it'll be okay. Let's see. Let's head over here. Uh, do we want, we'll just lower the bridge. I think it's fine. We have enough points. We have the Valkyrie drones. Is that what they're called? Is that what it said? We have the really annoying robot drones. I hated these things whenever the map came out. I guess we could start trying to get Dragon Shield parts if we really wanted to. Uh, the bridge already went back up. Yeah. You can just shoot their arms, uh, but I, I think we're strong enough with double tap just to be able to take them down just by good old-fashioned normal shooting. I don't know how much better it is to shoot their arms versus their heads. But I think we have the damage required here. The EMP-44. I don't remember this gun. I, to be honest, I don't remember like any of the guns that we've actually been using. I, <laughs> there's little to no understanding of this game. I played it for not the longest amount of time. I mean, all guns are... I mean, they just shoot bullets, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, we got the maxi. Grab the max ammo, although it doesn't matter too, too much. And let's head over to... Oh, we're already here? I didn't know that connected to here. That's crazy. Okay. We'll get this. Uh, let's see. I need to start working on... I never remember where the last shield part is. I want to say the last shield part's just in the middle, but I don't think that's true. I hate the valves. I hate the valves. I see it, and I just get, like, PTSD, man. I remember watching... I would always watch these direct attempts the moment the map went live. Uh, ever since Die Rise. I think I watched all of them from Die Rise up to, like, the first two Black Ops 4 maps. Uh, and then I, then I kind of fell out of it. But it was it was just crazy to watch um, everything. Let's see. I want to be a little careful here. This gun doesn't feel particularly strong. I just want to get back over and try to get my shield. That way, in case the dragon does come, we're going to be in okay enough shape. So there should be the one in the infirmary. It could be it could be like three different places. Well, they all have three spawns, right? No, 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 big boy. No, no, no. This is not the place I really want to be training. I'll go ahead and go to the bottom floor if I don't get just completely destroyed by zombies. Speed Cola helps out a, a massive amount. <laughs> a truly extraordinary amount here. Please. And SMGs will be going by quicker than other guns uh, just because... It's better for points, right? Guns that don't give a lot of points in, in... Now, if it was kill base, it'd be different. But guns that don't give a lot of points, you end up having for longer. Which is the sad thing, because SMGs and assault rifles are, like, the most fun ones to use. Well, maybe not the most fun, but the strongest ones to use, and you get to keep them for the very long, uh, the very shortest. All right, we got him. I want this shield part. Uh, it should be up here. Do, do, do. Where, oh, where? I'm just having to go along the outside, see if I can spot it with my eyes. My eyes are not the best. Oh, I don't want to take it down, though. I do know one thing, but it doesn't matter too much at this very second. Dude, what, what? where do I recognize that sound from? I swear I've heard that specific sound in a different game um, for, like, an item. And it is not COD. <laughs> it's like an RPG or something. Oh, I don't know. Where is the 
That looks like a dragon head. Yeah, it was. Why could I not pick that up? Here. Weird. All right, if we go down here, I think the last part's in the middle area, I'm hoping. Yes, awesome. We got all three parts. Um, where do we build the dragon shield? Right here. I knew it was around. The guard of Fafnir. Get it. Oh, okay. A little glitchy, a little glitchy. Awesome. And it is two in this game? One? No, we just can't pull it out. Okay. Got it. So we can't actually have the shield. <laughs> Can I pick it up again or will it not even let me? No, I already have one. Will will they hit me from behind? Yes, they can definitely hit me from behind. I'll do one more test here in just a second. Let's see. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're hitting me from behind. That one's on me. That one's on me. I'll take it. So if we do go down, we don't lose the perks, um, which is quite nice to see. I, I figured that's how it's been all the other ones. But if you, if you act like that, then it has no suspense, right? All right. Let's keep going through. Now what? We need to we need to do the supply things. I don't even know which one we currently have. We'll go to the middle area and see if we can get it. Uh, and then if it's not that one, yeah, I don't know which one red is. No shot. I know the colors off the top. I um, I was gonna I was gonna make a joke about like, the Samantha says version with the colors, but it's not even the same principle. <laughs> I was gonna, maybe a more accurate thing would be I don't even know the origins upgrade steps, man. I always have to. I have a little Easter egg guide or not Easter egg guide, but like a little cheat code guide that tells me like all the. Not cheat. What am I trying to say? A little, like, cheat sheet. That's the term. All right. Well, we need to head to the armory. Is that what it's called? The armory? The infirmary? Dragon command? Tank factory. That's it. I knew none of the words were sounding too familiar for what this area was called. Uh, and it should be up the stairs. Oh, the stairs are there. Okay. Uh, it's not down here. No, I don't believe so. Let's train zombies for a quick second so I just don't get absolutely overran. I don't train zombies a lot on this channel. I consider myself actually pretty good at training zombies. I, I can pretty easily, I would say without looking up like any strategies or anything or doing anything too complex, I can train and get to just like round 50 on every map, just using normal guns, except like maybe knocked, which I do have a serious idea I want to try, which is getting to like round 30 on every single map in zombies. Uh, I think it would be fun, but I have this issue of I want to go in order and not like the world at war maps are just going to be the hardest and it's not even close and i just think in my head do i really want to spend five hours trying to get a round 30 attempt on nocturne and toten and the answer is going to be no i wasn't paying too much attention there my bad taking downs like a big old dummy i don't want to use the death machine that kind of goes against the the spirit of the challenge here i'll take the tyrone i'll take the tyrone i guess because that's what it's called pack a punch head up here Let's get to this and summon the Groff module. There we go. Where is our dear Groff module going to fall? Looks like right over here. Destroy you. Easy peasy. I'm not taking these zombies seriously enough right now. <laughs> Keep on going. I wish there were um, I wish there were more stakes in this, man. Because all that happens is you just get demoted. And I guess you can just like perma get demoted and your life be absolutely miserable. But it doesn't feel like that big of a punishment. You know what I mean? Oh, where is it? I don't even know how to get there. I really don't. If I go this way. No. How do I? Okay, if I go this way and I drop down, I'll be able to get there. Yeah, this map is a bit of a maze to me sometimes. I, I won't lie. Maybe I'm not the smartest in the, in the world. Got the dragon. Again, we can't do anything about the dragon if he blows fire where we're at because we can't pull out our shield. Uh, even though it says we have the shield, the game does not allow us to have it uh, in this gun game mode. Just like we don't have grenades, which is why Widow's Wine isn't working. 46 guns left. Whew. So many points and not a single thing to spend them on. Unless I want to buy stamina, but I don't know if I'm in a, a stamina mood. Makes me think about like uh, how in Black Ops 1, all the characters will talk about like the flavors of the perks. And like on the wiki, there was an area keeping track of all the flavors. Or maybe not the wiki, but somewhere there was like a thing keeping track of all the flavors. I think... Juggernaut's supposed to be like eggnog, right? I think Quick Revive has a fishy taste. Speed Cola is insanely sugary. Is Double Tap just like normal root beer? I don't remember. But I know Quick Revive is like really fishy. I don't remember why. I wonder if there's like any further lore on it. <laughs> can I... Hey, hey, Treyarch, can I have my perk drink lore, please? Why did Monty make Quick Revive fishy? Did Monty make the perks? Is that how that works? I don't know. Why would he make them in like cocoa? Why would he use chalk? Why would he not just give us the weapons? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's better maybe just not to question the uh, 
the deep things about that. What was that? What just fell? Whoa, dragon, not dragon, drone. That gave me a little bit of a heart attack. Oh, you can, I forgot you can do that. Dude, you're so annoying. <laughs> yeah. I do not like the uh, the drones. Why do we have, oh, that's a mangler. All right, come here, Mr. Mangler. Let me shoot your arm. If you don't know, manglers, you can destroy their arm uh, and they're a lot less of a threat. He should be running after me now because I shot the arm and he didn't die. Yeah, he just runs after you once you destroy the arm because he can't shoot you anymore. So if the range is a bit of an issue for you, hey, just handle the arm. We got the last one, which is actually this one. We just need to be a bit careful not to take it down. So we'll go around in a circle. We got the PPSH, which actually has a really low ammo count uh, because it doesn't have the drum on it. We'll grab the nuke and let's run and see if we can get this in the in the cylinder, whatever whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> Such a good mood, man. Okay. Oh, where are you falling? Looks like you're going to go over here. Yeah. So we need to go to the supply depot. And we'll get Pack-A-Punch area open. And I don't remember how to do the trials and everything, unfortunately. I'm, I do plan to be playing through Garod Krovi somewhat normally and try to complete all the time trials. It'll be something called, like, oh, Garod Krovi, but I but I have to do everything in a time limit? I don't know. <laughs> I do know the most important thing for YouTube is, like, you need to base your videos around title and thumbnail. So you guys will leave really good challenges, but I won't know how to market them all the time. And sometimes you guys have better ideas for how to market things than I do. I did... What was it? I did the challenge where it was like, I have to buy every wall weapon in order. And someone was like, oh, you should name it like Origins, but I'm a, I'm a collector or something like that. And I was like, that's a, that's a really good title. <laughs> yeah. what, dude, where can I get out of this fire? Why did it still show it on my screen over here? That's silly. Whatever. The fire does weaken the zombies. So they'll die on like only one to two bullets. Oh, it's on the other side. Come on, fire. Go away. Thank you much. Let me get over here so we can just stop this little bit that's happening here. Destroy these. Easy peasy. We should have all three now. Open up. Give it to me. Let's go get the pack punch area open. It'll be over here. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Charlton in Z41. 1941, I take it. Man, I'll never forget. Um, I did the Origins, but I have to be historically accurate video. And I, I tried, man. I'm not a gun guy. I don't know anything about guns. And I messed up a few things about the history of the guns. And you guys who were in fifth grade in the library reading all the history books, you guys got me. Hey, I'll give it to you. You know way more about it. And I'm just saying that just spoke a little fun. It's awesome to like be passionate about, you know, whether it's war or whatever and just want to learn. That's cool. It's just fun to poke a little bit of fun. Uh, but you guys destroyed me on that one. I've been like, I don't know if I want to do anything like that again. But it's fine. <laughs> I actually don't get that much. If I mess up, I mess up. Hey, if anything, it's more interaction. One of the funniest jokes I ever heard a YouTuber make was, oh, I purposely put typos in the, in the like, title, that way I get more comments on the video. It's genuinely the big brain idea. I've been listening to so many, like, podcasts and stuff on, like, how to grow on YouTube. Um, and, like, what what's most important? And there's so much, like, false information out there. Mr. Beast talks about a lot about how there's just so much, like, wrong information. You know, if you're looking how to grow on YouTube, it, and, hey, the same goes for me. If you're looking at it grow on YouTube and you're watching a channel with a thousand subscribers tell you how it might not be the best idea. I am pretty proud of my channel growth. I've only been doing this since July and we're at 4,000 subs, which I'm just amazed by. I am so thankful um, and hopefully I can just continue to grow it. I know I'm not nearly as big as other zombies creators, but dang, I have fun with it. It's a good time. Let's see. Let's see. What's now? Oh, we just take the dragon. Easy. We have 35 guns left. And of course, the way it works is because we get more points as the rounds go on because zombies are tankier. Uh, we will start going a bit quicker. I imagine we'll be done probably around round 20 to 25. But these videos are always just a little bit longer because normally I am videos around round 15. As most all of you know, um, <laughs> despite the constant fight back from some audience members. But I understand. Some of you guys just want to see high round zombies. Uh, but unfortunately, time-wise and everything, it just doesn't work out. Oh, there's Monty. Round, I think round 14 is the first time we hear him. So we must have heard him already this game and I just didn't notice. Yeah, terribly sorry, I had breakfast just a bit ago, so my body is busy digesting through that. Ah, let's see, let's see. I see, I'm trying to hold tab to see the scoreboard, but I can only see the mob, the mod loaded, which of course is the uh, Wonder Weapon, not Wonder Weapon, World War II mod. I saw WW and I was like, ooh, that me. Oh, dude, COD Zombies has messed me up on so many things in life. I'll see abbreviations and I would just think in terms of COD Zombies. And people are like, oh, you know, the, I can't think of them off the top, of course, but, or just gaming in general. Um, what's a, what's a popular one? I have no idea. Off the top, I have no idea. But, 
there would just be abbreviation. I'm sure you guys have run into similar issues where a normal abbreviation used in real life, and you're like, why does that mean? <laughs> why are you talking about Wrath of the Lich King or whatever? Um, there was a really popular one, I think was with COD Zombies, it was constantly messing me up, and I wish I could remember off the top, but there's no shot. Dude, this area gets crazy, I forgot. We gotta, we gotta be careful. Uh, the, my weapon is not strong enough to be able to deal with all of this. They spawned in so quickly, they were just all on all sides. I hate taking downs, but man, nothing was gonna be able to happen there. Let's get our little dragon egg. Uh, we should be able to- why are you behind me? Why can you be there? Don't be there. That's not a particularly great area for you to be, Mr. Zombie. Why are you faster? I don't like you. All right, all right. No, I can't jump. Why can't I jump? I was trying to jump down the sewer, but it didn't work. All right, we'll grab our egg. I'm out of here. All that work just to go down twice in the area. What a shame, although technically we haven't gone down once. That's all I'm saying. I, we're still flawless, by the way the game is concerned here. We're swimming. Zetsubo no Shima, was that the first Zombies map we could swim in? Or maybe Shangri-La, there might have been like a swimming cutscene. Because Shangri-La did have water. What came before Zetubo? We had Der Isendrock and Shadows, right? And what was the other map? The Giant. Yes, there was no swimming as always before then. Did we have free swimming or was it controlled swimming? I think everyone was thinking like with the water testing, because obviously if they put features and features in the map, a lot of times it's testing for like a bigger idea. Uh, and I, I think a lot of people were thinking of the Atlantis map. We still haven't had, like, a true underwater map, which is crazy. Leviathan, of course, is an underwater map. And I will be playing Leviathan, especially to the um, comment streak uh, who is asking me to play Leviathan. It will happen. Uh, I just, I've played that map, like, three times. I've wanted to record it, and I will go into it. And it's just such a big map, and I get lost, man. That map really is one of the only maps that I truly get lost on. This one, of course, but I'm able to remember this one pretty well most of the time. Come on, Valkyrie drone. I'll take you down. Uh, let's buy stamina up. There's no reason not to. Stamina up was over up top over here, I believe. Uh, I could have gone upstairs, actually. Let's do that. I hope running back into the zombies doesn't cause me too many issues here. We'll just buy the door. We should... <laughs> yeah, we have more than enough points to be able to buy a door and get up here. Uh, was that perk? No, it was just a sign. So if we go this way, we should run into stamina up. I do believe so. I think it was by the box spawn. No, box spawn's here. Oh, stamina up. Where did you go, my dear friend? Was on the other side? Dude, I maybe I lied. Maybe I do just get lost. Yes, yeah, MM's over here. It's in the infirmary. Because it Why would why would why would they need to run Where did you guys come from? What? <laughs> there was no one there. And then everyone was there. What? Alright, it's fine, it's fine. We are in so much trouble. We have got to just start training. We can't just freely run around the map with unpack a bunch of weapons on round 17. We're gonna we're gonna stop taking these stupid downs and we're just gonna pick somewhere for us to be a little safe. I prefer the tank area actually. We have an insta kill. I should be able to make my way over. Yeah, we're good. Uh, tank area is my favorite place to train. Because if the dragon comes, you can just easily walk out. And the other areas just feel so, like, close quarters. This area, at least I have, like, a, a good space. It's still pretty close quarters. A lot of spawns. <laughs> Sorry, it's so early in the morning still. I, I was going to record yesterday, the day after the wedding, but truth be told, I was exhausted. Um, both me and my fiancé, my fiancé a lot more than me, my wife, my apologies. Uh, <laughs> Both me and my wife uh, had barely slept before the wedding. Her slept, a, she slept a lot less than me. I probably slept about five hours each night. She probably slept about three. She she was amazing. She was like, look, you gotta get sleep because I, I don't function well without sleep. So yesterday, whenever we got our first good night's sleep together, we were still dead exhausted. So we just spent the day together after the wedding, just, you know, holding each other, being by each other's sides, just happy. I saw this really funny comment and I was like, how is this guy going to be a full-time YouTuber and he's getting married? <laughs> would you, would you, hey, true though. All I, hey, my life plan, play video games, make, make recordings and hang out with chatters and commenters. That's the dream and somehow I found a girl who's like, you know what, that's okay. I'll finish my college degree and get a real job. <laughs> Which is, yeah, it's just funny, man. YouTube is a, I, I fully believe it's a real job, don't get me wrong, but it's its a very, very fortunate job if you're able to get into it. Oh, this is not the best gun for me to deal with these Valkyrie drones with. Let me just focus on destroying your orms. Are you just going to run into me now and try to self-destruct into me? Yes! Oh, that's why I don't like doing that. Oh, the SVT does not feel particularly great here. Do they have a weak spot that's not their orms? Maybe under them? No, it doesn't, I'm not getting like any special hit markers. Isolated. Who, who made these? Who made the robots? 
Um, I know that Russia, what they did was they... What? What is what is happening? Are they, is this a normal zombie run? Why are there zombies? What? Hold up, hold up. We gotta, we gotta play safe here. What's what's going on here? Promoted. We gotta... Get out of my... Dude, you can get out of my way. I can't run. I can't run. I can't run. What? <laughs> Since when did the robots block my way? Hold up. Dude, I'm going crazy. This is a this is a semi-automatic gun, by the way. I'm just going crazy with the fire right now. I can't do it as fast now. The adrenaline was going. That's why I was shooting it so hard. I can't. Uh, I can't do it anymore. I lost the trigger finger. It only comes out when it's needed. It's like the red tail, the nine tails, the the Naruto reference. <laughs> Dude, oh man, I uh, I'm scared to mention. I've been watching an anime, and I don't want spoilers. Because if I say I don't want spoilers, and I say the anime, it'll be it'll be spoiled, and I'm worried that if I just am like, oh, I'm watching. An anime is just going to put big spoilers for every anime. I'm not going to say anything else, but I'm just... I was going to talk about anime when my videos because I don't watch anime. I'm not a big anime guy, but I'm watching anime right now. And I I refuse to get it spoiled to me. I, <laughs> so I'm begging you guys. I promise you, you, you put a spoiler in the comments for any anime, you're done. You're out. You're gone. I, I don't, Nova Effect, with your massive comment streak, you put an anime spoiler... It's gonna be, it's gonna be me crying while smiling, you know, like, I'm sorry, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Man, anime, that's, that's a scary thing to talk about, I don't, besides the anime I'm watching right now, I have genuine, why are you in my way? I can't train here, I need to get back to my spot. We are, we are getting so screwed here, we are making no progress. Hold up, let me stop talking about anime, let me focus up here. No more anime talk, we're done with it. We're gonna we're gonna try hard and we're gonna beat this challenge because we have just been set back like seven guns in the past little bit of time. We are back to 35 guns left because I am not I'm not I'm not on the rise and grind right now. I heard um I was watching some league and there were these pro players talking about LCS. And if you don't know, LCS is North American. Why am I so bad at the game? Oh ho, 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 ho. I it's so hard to tell stories and not be terrible at this game. I was watching some pro players talk about LCS. LCS is under a lot of fire right now um, because, and again, LCS is North American League, and North America League uh, is not good. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just be blunt about it. We don't ever do well internationally. Uh, I think we made it to semifinals maybe once. Uh, we're not good. We're just not good internationally. It, we, we, we struggle a lot against Korean teams, which is the LCK. We struggle a lot against Chinese teams, which is the LPL. And we struggle a lot against uh, European teams, which is the LEC. Although we did ruin Europe's chance of beating Worlds this year with us. We took them down with us. That's beside the point. Uh, but basically, LCS players don't play nearly as long as other teams. We don't practice as hard. Maybe not as hard, but time-wise. Um, and there's a lot of scrutiny like versus, you know, what do you need to do for mental health? versus how much grind you need to put in how much of a grind you need to have to be a pro player because there's a lot of people that won't be pro players if you're not willing to do at least eight hours of training a day are you worthy of the title is your natural skill so good that you're not training it so it's under flames right now why 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 what is happening i've not been able to get past the the gun i I'm going to actually like just lose. I'm gonna get stuck in positions I don't know how to handle with. What do I do here? I know people don't like training on this map. Um, we are in such a bad situation here. People don't like training on this map. What they'll do is they'll get the Mark III and they'll just uh, camp like at the little, oh, what a difficult situation. Why, why are you always behind me? What is happening? We're back on the, what, what, is, what is going on? I, this area is not vibing with me. Hold up. We got to fix the vibes here. We, we got to find somewhere we're actually able to train without taking a million downs. I regret not having the pack-a-punch weapons now because at least I'd be able to kill zombies with those. I think in here, maybe this area, maybe this area will have a bit more luck. But I just feel like we're going to get run down on all sides. It's going to be a nightmare. I don't know, you know, because the wonder weapon on this map is a campy wonder weapon. It's not a training wonder weapon. I don't know how people did it. I feel like the tank factory is my best bet, but I was just getting destroyed there. We have the Mangler who shot, which you have to run into. Luckily, Manglers aren't that big of a threat. It's just dealing with everything. Come on. Let's get off the SVT. We're going to be okay. We'll just run train set this entire area. I'll keep my eyes open. And hopefully, we won't just be playing the worst zombies of my life. We destroyed his helmet. Come on, dude. Just, just, just go. Just go. We got the Maxi. 850 points left for this gun. Oh, 
This was not supposed to be an hour long video, and yet I I feel as though we are rapidly approaching. I'm not gonna buy a gobble gum. I'm not cheating. We're not doing that. I have every perk. <laughs> Oh no, what a situation at hand. What I'll need to do is I just need to focus on training and not shooting. There's a Valkyrie drone. I hear you, I don't know where you are. You're right in the, oh, get out of my face, get out of my face. Oh, what an unoptimal training situation. Okay, be careful, we're okay. Watch the back, watch the back. Nothing right there for now, where are you? You gotta go. You gotta go. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. Just go, 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 go. Just go away! Okay, AS-44. This is a fully automatic gun. Come on, come on. Just don't take it down. Don't take it down. Just cycle. Just cycle. We're good. We're good. Don't block me off, drone. We need to be careful going this way. Going this way is very bad because we can get trapped very, very easily. Oh, Mingler. Hello. I didn't know you were there. I would love it if you weren't. That's a perk. That perk could be very good. If we can get, like, snail's pace, that'd be massive. Alright, it's fine. I take the down to get snail space. I hope. No mule kick, because we didn't get mule kick yet. Because mule kick is so useful in gun game. Ah, uh, at least Widow's Wine. Well, I was going to say Widow's Wine gave us an empowered knife. I don't know how many of you guys know that. If you get Widow's Wine early, I think it's a one-shot knife until round five. Um, but, 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 we don't. We can't even knife in this game mode. <laughs> Why? Why do I keep getting trapped here? We're back on this. No, no. Okay. I'm calling it, man. I go down one more time. We we, we have to end the video. I I ref, I'm if, if I know, I've failed. I have failed. If we go down one more time, it is a failure. I'll take the failure. It's been fun. We talked about it a lot. We we got some zombie killing action, but clearly this challenge is uh, just a bit too hard for me. I just feel like I can't kill the zombies, and I feel like there's too many boss zombies, and they come in too quickly, and I'm just getting overwhelmed. Come on, go away, Valkyrie drone. This is why I don't play Garage Kobe that much, man. <laughs> All right, get everyone together, and we'll just go into them. Get the points. We're going to be okay. If I just had a slightly stronger weapon. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Keep going. We've got a M1941, which is a Browning, right? This is just the Browning? Maybe I'm mixing up my World at War guns here. But I think so. Uh, because the MG42... Well, no, it's a, oh, no. Hold up. I'm mixing things up. The MG42 is an Origins 1942 LMG... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Surely we don't go down immediately this round, even though the dragon fire is just going to completely ruin our day. How much damage does the dragon fire do? Do we know off the top? Can I just tank it? Uh, careful, careful, careful. I don't want to be in this area for particularly long. Oh, great, another mangler. I feel like this is going to be an every round thing now, isn't it? Destroy that zombie. We got our area back. Just fire into them. That's all we can do. Just fire into the zombies. Watch our back. Yep, they're spawning in again. They spawn in very, very quickly. I think I was talking about it on maybe the Infinite Warfare version of this mod. No, maybe maybe it was not. No, no, no. that was something entirely different. That was the 5 map. Speaking of the 5 map. That's it. That's it. I can't talk about it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. What a terrible performance on my part. Maybe the skills go away once you're married. Maybe the gaming skills go away. But with that said, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I think I already said like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Take it easy.